Hey guys, Cameron here from Bio.ca Media, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple watermark in Photoshop and Sony Vegas Pro 9. Um, today I'm using this Cam Camtasia 7 Studio recorder, and to tell you the truth, I don't actually like it at the moment because, as you can tell, it's slowing down my system and changing it to Windows 7 Basic. So, pretty much. We're going to get straight into this, we're going to open up both programs, we're going to go to Photoshop first. We're going to go File, New, 1280 by 720 and Transparent for the Background Contents. Click OK. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the simplest one possible that will look pretty nice and I'm just going to import an abstract image. I'm going to have the circle behind it probably if this will work because I know that it hasn't been working for like the last an hour that I've been trying to record this but and then some text so pretty much we're going to import that photo and make sure we place the file alright it's working right click rasterize layer now you want to hold down shift and drag that down to make it smaller now in this tutorial, with the 1280 by 720, wherever you place this watermark is where it will be in your video in Sony Vegas, unless if you move it in Sony Vegas. So I'm going to show you how to do both, but for this tutorial, I'm going to just place it right in the center here, but you can place it down there. So I'm just going to place it in the center so I can show you how to move it in Sony Vegas. Alright, so now that we've got that down, we want to import a circle. So just hold down shift to make it even, and there you go, that's good enough for this tutorial. Oh, you might want to make this bigger, so hold shift again, there. Alright, then we want to go back down to the shape, right click, rasterize, and then I'm also going to import Ezio from Assassin's Creed here, like so, and hold shift again make him smaller, this is good enough, I've already done this about 27,000 times, so this is going to be a lot rougher, alright so that's alright, um, we might want to make this circle a little bit smaller, so hold down shift again, there you go, alright so now what we want to do is import the text, and we're going to do tut here, Increase the size up to about 36. And if you need to zoom in, just zoom in. And we're going to just place that over there because I can't be bothered doing anything else. Then, just say you want to add your link. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to use a dubstep of Oz. Now, kind of, you don't have to actually click off the text thing, but kind of drag over here, so it kind of like does that. So, when you curse, it kind of does that. Now, I'm going to add a simple arch effect to try and wrap it around the circle here, but it's going to be really, really rough, and it's not, it's going to be half half on the circle. It's so pretty much go up here to the text, click on it, go to style, go to arc. Now it arches that way, so what we want to do is go to the plus 50 here and make it minus 50. And you get that effect, but obviously if you have a look, this isn't going to wrap around the circle. So go back into it and make the bend a lot more, like so. And make the text smaller to about 18 if you want to do it like that. And then that's pretty close, it's obviously not going to be wrapped around perfectly because I'm rushing this. But pretty much that's what it looks like. This watermark is going to be just be something plain like that. And if you want it to be transparent on your video like that, that's fine. I'm just adding a, cir like a circle behind it. So pretty much now that we've done that, we just want to save that as a Photoshop file. Like a PSD. Click OK. And surprisingly, guys, this is the fastest my computer's been going in like the last hour and a half of this new Camtasia Studio 7. So I'm quite pleased at the moment. 
So pretty much just drag this into your Sony Vegas. I just want to see how this goes to Sony Vegas. Alright, so pretty much yours when you open it up won't have this as widescreen. So I'm going to tell you how to do that if you don't already know. Go up to the project video properties, go to pixel aspect ratio, change that from um, square to NTSC DV widescreen. Click OK. Now Input your video that you want, it to be over. So this is going to be mine. This is my tut that I did. Uh, oh, about two hours ago, an hour, something. So that's pretty much what that tut looked like. And so I'm going to put a watermark over this now. So just get that, drag it over the top. Um, drag that so it equals up, and. If you want to make like this track smaller, just hold control and then move that down. You'll have to get those wires for it to stretch it or not, like to make time. I don't know if you already know that, but there's some helpful information too. Now as you can see here, tuck logo watermark is right in the center. Like we did here. So pretty much if that was down there, that would be down there. But I'm gonna show you how to move it. So pretty much to move it, we want to go over to tr motion over here and drag this down into the corner. Now obviously that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to show you how to make it smaller or bigger. Now you want to go to the track and go to event, pan, slash crop. Now scroll out with your like little ball thing in your mouse. Now if you drag out, obviously that's going to make it smaller. If you drag in, it's going to make it bigger. So, we're going to make this just a little bit smaller, about there. Now, we can move this again. We can rotate it if we really wanted to back there, but I'm not going to. And then, that's pretty much your watermark. Now, obviously it's not going to be good quality in this just like preview area, but once you take it out, it'll be fine quality and you'll be right to go. But before I go, I'd just like to ask you a question. I want to know, what do you think of this image here? Now this image here I did not that long ago. Um, it's I gave it to my friend Alex who runs the Dubstep of Oz. Go check out his channel. There's great mega mixes, uploads, uh, great tracks from upcoming artists and stuff. All Dubstep. Uh, so if you like that, um, go check out his channel. He's nearly over passing me in subs and he's only had it for half the time as me so pretty disappointed there but um pretty much just drop a comment on a tutorial that you want or if you actually like this image because I gave him this image to use in one of his mega mixes so um I don't know if you if you like it comment on it go check out his channel subscribe um if you want a tutorial on something else make sure to comment because I'm more than willing to do it I only got a couple of weeks of school left, so pretty much I'm pretty much done all my schoolwork. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hopefully this helped, and hopefully I can get this recording thing to work, so I can make some more good tutorials. Cheers.